eight. You're listening to the Radio Ammo Breakfast, only on Kiwi. Well, my next guest has just completed a successful nationwide theatre tour with Liam Finn and James Milne as part of um, Making a Baby Project. Uh, Connor Moccasin is who I'm talking about, and he's about to release his much-anticipated debut album uh, on December the 7th. Connor Moccasin joins us on the show this morning. Good morning to you, Connor. Hello, how are you? Very well, which might, which might actually puzzle some people that I just said your debut album, because people think, oh, well, hang on, we're, we're hearing sneaky, sneaky dog friend here in the background... We've heard some Connor Moccasin before. What's going on? Uh, it's been a been a long sort of kind of project between touring, really. I think. Yeah. And just the odd sort of two weeks here and there that I get off. Uh, mostly when I'm back in New Zealand, I've been sort of chipping away at it. But I, I was just thinking about it last night. Actually, I'm really happy that I haven't released something earlier because I, I, I think I'm actually happy with this. Like the last, any other sort of recordings, I haven't been happy with because I'm only just sort of starting to get better this, at writing, I think, now. Right, well, this is because this is your debut as a as a solo artist. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, as opposed to with the with the band, which was Conan and the Moccasins. And the, yeah, yeah, big difference. But, what, yeah. What, what happened to them? You just you cast uh, them aside? I, I was just, I, I, I get sick of, I, I get so tired of just sort of doing one thing, and I, I was so sick of, just needed to change. I didn't even really enjoy doing that one that much after a while, but... Wow, really? That's yeah, honest. yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Like that. Well, that was the whole idea of the, um, how I used my name because I thought I'd, you know, end up quitting bands all the time anyway. So yeah, which I did. But that one lasted a few years, which was a surprise for me. But <laughs> are you difficult to work with, Conan? Is that what I don't going think? On? I'm, no, I don't think. I don't think I'm uh, difficult. To... Well, you like? Do you just like to like to like to do your own thing? I mean, you've got your own journey to go on. Sorry, what was that? You, you just like to do your own thing. You've got your own journey to go on. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, mm. yeah. It's been, as you say, it's been. Um, I mean, it's been an interesting journey because you've you've gone and done all kinds of things. You've spent most of your time in the last wee while over in Europe. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep sort of like um, popping in and out there, and um, sort of uh, the last. Oh, this year I've been back three times, which has been. Yeah, it's, yeah, no. It's, yeah, so I've been doing a little bit of recording there as well, and yeah, when, when I can. But yeah, and and been um, hooking up with with various other musicians as well. Um, one of them being Fat Boy Slim. Oh yeah. How, yeah. Did, how did that relationship come about? Uh, that was, uh, my, I think, a CD got snuck into a pile of stuff that he had to listen to, and and um, and he, he gave me a call and and wanted to produce my record, but it didn't really quite sound the way that I wanted to do it. So, so it was kind of a lucky thing. But then later he wanted me to do a song for his record. So it was sort of like another... Were, yeah. you, were you surprised that that, um, that he still existed? Because <laughs> when, I, when I heard about the, the album and the project, I was like, oh, Fat Boy Slim. He's still, yeah, he's was, still around. Was pretty, yeah, it was quite a strange sort of... Um, yeah... <laughs> It was, yeah, it was quite a surreal sort of thing at, at first, but oh, we still keep in touch, and I thought about doing some stuff with him again later, which would be quite... I think he's just really fun to work with. What kind What kind of um, track was it? Because I haven't heard it. I mean, is it, is it a dance floor track? I mean, what's he doing these days? Um, it's, a, it's a strange mix. It's, he, he basically just gave us a bunch of songs to listen to, and... Um, yeah. And... Um, and, and then sort of just chose what he thought. Well, it was like a, with, with a bunch of his friends and stuff, um, um, w- which happened to be, you know, Iggy Pop and David Byrne and stuff. And yeah. he just said, yeah, I think that song will work well with you and stuff. But I think with me, because he, he could experiment a bit and made me do something that I probably wasn't that used to doing. And so, sort of like, oh, you can, I want you to, Want you to? So I, I've taken the track home and made something on top of it, and then when I got there, he goes, "No, I don't, don't even want to hear it. I want to do this. I want to huh. I want to take the beat out, and you to kind of basically just rap any word that comes to your head." So I was quite nervous as well, and I yeah. didn't even really have time for a drink or anything, and yeah, yeah, straight into it. Yeah. Did he? Did he kind of? It sounds like he kind of coached you through it a little bit. 
Yeah, yeah. He was. A, I think he was just using me as a guinea pig in a way. <laughs> well, that's nice, though. <laughs> I mean, that's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a good experience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, also, you've been play, you've you played various um, festivals. Uh, one of them being the Green Man Festival. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, Hyde Park, goodness me, gosh, these, I mean, these are, these are yeah, big Yeah, well, that was a while ago, actually, that, that was, um, because I had a single coming out then, but, you know, I've only released one single over there, which is off that, was the song you're playing right now, actually. Yeah, this is the, you know, uh, that uh, having a baby. Oh, is it? Sorry, oh, I can... I'm, oh, I've moved on, I've moved on, oh, Conan. okay. Keep <laughs> <Okay>. up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was playing Naughty Holidays before, was that Yeah, one? that yeah. one, yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah, but that was, that was, what, 2007, I think, when that was released over there, so... Um, and it's, yeah, the, and so it's the only I've, one, I've been a bit quiet, quiet with the festivals lately. Yeah. Because um, there's not really much point. They, they don't really want to book you if you haven't got anything coming out. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's the only thing I've released there. Yeah. Huh. I, I, uh, yeah, I, like I said before, I think it's a good good thing to, to keep the first one for a little while. Yeah. It hasn't been a conscious decision, but sort of... Um, yeah... Yeah. Um, this this um, this this project with Liam Finn, Eliza Jane, and Lawrence Arabia that we're hearing in the background having a baby now. That, that, that that's that's still yet to release a, a full length album. This is the yeah. only, only yeah, track I've, we've heard from it. Yeah, I just got back. To, we all just sort of got back to the country last week and or earlier this week and um, had a meeting and talked about what we're going to do with it. I think we're going to release that March. The the record that that song won't be on it on the record though because it was a totally different sound to what yeah. we ended up doing but um, yeah because I think my record comes out on February actually 22nd yeah and then and then we're thinking March for the, the Barb I think we're calling ourselves Barb um, Barb <laughs> like, like the woman yeah <laughs> nice or Wait. the cat's tail <laughs> Connor, I get the feeling that um, that uh, you're a bit of a tinkerer. You like, uh, in, in, all, in all ways, like you know, with with music on the on the macro scale, but also on the micro of actually making the music itself. You you, you like experiment. You like picking up odd bits and pieces and instruments and seeing what what kind of sound they make. Is I mean, is, is that accurate? Does yeah, that that's accurate. Yep, yeah, that's really accurate. What, what, um, what's the most interesting um, sound that you've created recently? That you think that you like? Whoa. I don't know. I could do that. Um, well, I've, I've got a friend in, um, who lives in Nottingham, in England. He 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 plays. He sings in this band called Late of the Pier. I don't know if you've heard of them or not. Um, they're quite a young, you know, really really good, really good band. We're, cool. We're doing a sort of side project together. Yeah. Um, Two piece singer. We're making mechanical instruments and and that we can sort of like we're trying to recreate some sounds, but organic. You know, with actual mechanical instruments and sort of come up with this um, one with uh, an octave of string sticking up with um, rotating picks in the middle and you can bring the strings in and it kind of makes this, <laughs> this um, kind of yeah no, so that's, been, that's been one that I've been quite excited about yeah yeah <laughs> um, oh, I yeah, can't, just, can't wait to hear that <laughs> yeah me too it's, it's been really tricky because well he's taking a year off later this year to do it and um I think we're going to call. People will be get, saying that we've got soft hair, so so we're just going to call ourselves soft hair. Soft um, hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're <laughs> going to do a record of that, and I'm doing one with Pip um, Lady Hawk this year as oh, well. Oh, great! Yeah. So while well, she's yeah, we're, we're both back in for summer, and and um, I'm just going to head up to my parents at the beach, or get a beach batch or something, and and hang out for a while. So that that will be really fun. Perfect. So we we don't have a name for that yet, but. Yeah. My man, you're going to need a, you're gonna, you need a full-on manager to, to um, take care of all these various, <laughs> all these various yeah, projects well that's, going on. Yeah, that's what I mean. Why, why I get bored with um, uh, that's why I got so excited as soon as I could um, uh, sort of do stuff on my own, so I could hop around and. Now, now tell me the name of the album is. Um, if I get this wrong, please turn me into the net. It's Nat. It is Nat. It's not yeah. just not Nat. I was, I was I was wondering if the S was going to be silent. So please turn me into the snat. Yeah. <laughs> Do we know what a snat is? Yeah, it's a half snack, half rat. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do, do, do they exist? Um, In a mythical uh, land. You know, yeah. It, mm. Yeah, I've, I've got this four-year-old friend, Don DiCaprio, who thinks they yeah. exist, but yeah. <laughs> 
Brilliant. Well, it's really nice to um, nice to talk to you, Conan, you uh, too. Yeah. And, and and follow your progress. Um, uh, I think I've just woken up the family of uh, stayed with with my voice. Oh well, you know, so they should no, I be. Haven't. Oh, okay. Nothing about. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, they're awake. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. But no, I was just saying, it's nice, nice to talk to you. You know, and follow and follow the progress because because I, I remember uh, talking to you. I think it felt like right in the beginning, anyway, when you, when you were um, you were just doing uh, university tours with um, with Colin and the Moccasins and uh, and and doing the rock and roll thing there. And it's um, it's been interesting see, to see the journey. From afar. Yeah, yeah. No, it's been mm. interesting me too, which is the which is exciting for myself. So yeah. Otherwise, uh, yep. No, it's good. Well, I'm going to play the um, the brand new track uh, from the forthcoming album. It's going out December the seventh, which is Monday ish. Monday, but it's Monday. Oh, is that when the, is that when the single's well, out? Is it? Oh, is it the single? Is it? Yeah. Is I think, I've got the I thing that says anticipate.